Should you get Absolver in 2021? This has probably been the most asked question on my YouTube channel, right after what's my pin size. Well gamers, I am delighted to tell you that I will be answering one of those questions today. It's one and a half inches. Now I can't just answer the first question because that all depends on you. Let me tell you why. There are many factors to consider when asking yourself the question if you should buy Absolver. Probably the first and main reason why people struggle getting this game is because of the lack of updates. The last update on Absolver was the Downfall expansion which has been on 25th of September 2018. That's already over 2 years since we got any content or balance changes in the game. The developers are currently working on a different project that will be a martial arts PvE experience so they don't want to allocate time to both projects at the same time since they are an indie studio but hopefully after they finish developing that game we could potentially convince them to come back to Absolver. Now you might be thinking, why would I get a game that developers abandoned? I don't know. I personally play Absolver because of my love for martial arts. This game really brings out the best features of MMA, with unique gameplay, fluid animations, awesome sound effects and an art style that most people just fall in love with. Also, I enjoy playing fighting games, but this has been a special fighting game for me. When playing Absolver, you don't need to learn how to play a character in their moveset. You are the character. You create your fashion, you select which specific moves you want to use, if you want a sword, gloves or just to beat up your opponent with fist and leg. There are also powers in the game that add a little bit of spice to the gameplay but they do sometimes get annoying. There's so much variety in how you want to play this game and what opponents you will face in PvP. This makes the skill ceiling of the game super high. That's one of the main issues that the new players face in this game though. They start combat trials thinking they are the boss after finishing the lackluster story and then get completely destroyed in PvP by an experienced player then quit the game. There's not really much I can say to these type of players for them to enjoy the game apart from get good. That being said, if you're planning to get this game then don't take it too seriously. There will be a lot of frustrating times of lag, experience gap and occasional bugs and if you are going to take this game serious then you are going to have a bad time. I personally love making various builds in the game even if they are not meta. I've done literally dozens of various different cosplays and builds that you can check out on my channel. Recently I tried making a samurai outfit and roleplayed as one of the bosses from the downfall expansion. Also, one more thing, the player base in this game is not dead. I get a lot of comments making fun of how there's only two people playing this game but you can check the steam charts for yourself and see that the player base only slightly declined. And I personally know tons of experience and new players that play this game nearly every day. That being said, if you are considering getting this game, I will see you in the combat trials.